Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me in studio again and again and again. It's lovely to see you all. I hope you're all well. Um, the weather's not too bad today, hey? So uh, lots of lovely faces on as normal. So thank you so much. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Tony Derrick and I'm a guest presenter over on Create and Craft. And the channel is a channel that inspires, and just a whole genre of craft basically so it doesn't matter what you're into what you do it's a channel of inspiration and i'm there nearly every week now um, with either earlier products new products and you can either tune in and buy something you like or you can tune in and just take the inspiration away with you and that's exactly the same as here in my studio here in wakefield so I have been working in the background with lots of things. I've got some new and exciting things to tell you about. Not today though, but coming soon. There's lots going on at Stamps by Me, as you can imagine. We always have a surprise up our sleeve somewhere, as you know. So if you watched my Facebook Live at one o'clock over on the Eureka fan page, brilliant. I am gonna run through the products, but it will be very, very quickly because I appreciate not everybody is on Facebook. If you are watching on YouTube though, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. This will give you all the notifications when we're live, what's new, the quick pick videos, things like that. So you never miss a show. But as always, if you can't watch the show live, don't worry through at your own leisure and see what we've been up to. And then maybe take it away. And if you have the stamp or die, then uh, replicate, twist it, turn it. If you haven't, now you have something in your stash that's going to work equally as beautiful so let's see who's chatting today i have been reading the comments somebody did say something about purple pass it wasn't on earlier was it i think the lady said that it's now got purple pass on it Ooh. so um hi carol it's pouring down in rain in last Ooh. jillian hi sweetheart rosie tracy adele kirsty chris shirley Hi Shirley, I just read your message about one second before I went live, so you are very welcome with relation to your order. Hi Irene, lovely to see you all. Oh, there's a lot on today. So it's me and Nathan today, and I'm going to quickly run through the products and show you what we've got, show you a few samples, and then we'll get jump straight into a demo. So if you are watching tomorrow's shows, I am on Create and Craft at 12 o'clock, and it's a double show, so if you want to click that record button and maybe catch it after work, or watch it back for some inspiration if you do buy the products or just watch it in general 12 o'clock to double show and then at 6 30 7 30 i'm sure you'll know more than me but whatever it is make sure you press the record button and if you are wanting to buy the products wait till the live hour see if the price comes down i know there is a, someone has said that there's a purple pass on there but still regardless if you wait you just never know because creating crafts can change things like that as we know so that's that and then i'm on on saturday half past six maybe on saturday or half past seven on saturday we've run show if there's anything left so we'll see what happens so did you all like the products that i showed you on our facebook page today i got a lot of emojis smiley faces hearts saying that you really like them so i hope you've got a cup of tea and i'm just going to quickly flick through them i'm sorry if you have already seen me um go through them but at least you get to get a, a second look and i'll show you some more of the lovely samples so oh yes love them a little bit different aren't they what are you going to do with them has anybody got any ideas what you're going to do with them because do you know for the first time i have literally because it's so different and i've had to push myself again like we did with the craft academy stamps i've not been able to stop i'm like oh we could do this oh you could do that and i'm so pleased we decided to take the dies on these ones as you know we don't take dies on everything but the dies really do elevate these stamp sets really really do so let me just pull my chair a little bit closer and let's get comfy spend wisely guys spend you know be careful i'm on tv pretty much every week now and we don't here at stamps by me we don't expect you to buy everything we don't but i know that some of you do like to buy our lovely products so if you do that's amazing thank you so much but if you don't you know it's not a great shake okay so let's show you what's firstly in the show so we have these lovely let's just move these out of the way we have the lovely embellishment dies now we did these about four years ago different sizes different um shapes different stitching and things like that but you all love them and we only did three i think but the most popular of the ones was this one 
and it was squares it wasn't in this format so if you're looking at the old one I think it didn't have as many squares it certainly didn't have the stitch and I think these ones are bigger and I get asked time and time again saying they're like the little MDF chipboard things that you can buy to build up. So that's where we've gone with this one. This is going to probably be one of those core staple items that you'll use as you do with, you know, you like your nesting dies and things like that. Yep, so um, Pamela Smith still uses her old version. Brilliant, that is brilliant. If you've got it, the old version, yet, I would suggest you probably don't need the new one because they are pretty similar. So let's just go through them. They're not in... They are in order, set one, two, three, but they're not in order in my hand because I haven't looked in it. I'm not that lucky, see number six. So set one. So the great thing about these are, not last time we just sold them as one like this, and I think it was something like 14 99 or something like that. Well, as you know now, Stamps by Me were growing uh, rapidly, which means we're ordering bigger numbers, which means we can get the cost down because we're ordering those higher quantities, which is beautiful beautiful amazing really so we've been able to pop two in this time in each design so you get your circles with a stitch of squares and on the back you can see there and you get your QR code too so the QR codes are nearly up to date for you all so thanks for your patience on that one then we've got set six so if you do like any of them make a note of the set number because as always at Create and Craft you can buy them as individuals you can buy them as individuals on our website as well but we don't do the bundles because they're exclusive to create and craft so we have that one there then we have the stars and sort of like chevrony type style but um, they're like a repeating pattern too which is really really lovely so you can slot them into one another as well then we have this one like with the hexagons very similar in design these two are they similar a little bit similar but this one has like stitch detail around and this one's absolutely plain then we have the hearts and butterflies all connected with the stitch on both and the snippability and the butterflies that drop out of here and the hearts that drop out of here can be paper pieced back in in a lovely different colour. And then we have this one which is amazing. We've got a card with this all over the background. It looks incredible. And then we have these lovely like triangles, some solid, some not. So they get you get two in a set with these ones, and these are $17.99. So good price, these ones, um, and brilliant for, you know, if you just like the one design, uh, it's a little bit affordable, is that one. So there are your embellishment dies, and then we have some stamps and coordinating dies. Now, these are really, really different in the sense that we've never done anything like this before. Um, I'm trying to be creative when I'm sat with the creative team. And the girls and you know shall we do this what if we did that can we do you know all those questions are asked daily here at stamps by me so we've done these sort of like um a6 designs so normally we would just fill the packet wouldn't we and we'd pop the words in and sentiments and things like that and we'd probably just leave it as is and probably not do the outline die but i'm so pleased we did do the outline die yes it costs a little bit more money but it is so worth it on this occasion so um, two A6 in a set, which is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So we get this um, timeless and call me in the same set and you get the outline for the telephone and you get the outline for the actual clock face here. Let's just show you on the back. So the great thing about these are the metal that was left with popped positive, smile, happiness, dream and some arrows in there. So if you really do want to grunge it up, you know, these can be used as entities on their own, but we didn't want to waste the metal, so we've popped some words in there too. So that one's a really, really lovely one. You can see this, can't you? Paper pieced out, uh, sorry, outline dyed out and painted red. Will you go, Ash? Really. And then we have Happy Place. Happy Place and Simply Gorgeous. There we go. So you can see we've got the lovely door there and the wall, and then we've got the lovely floral here. Absolutely gorgeous, but... Every time I look at them, I see something else. You know, the layers that we've put into these, something else, words on there, script, spots, the squiggles, the line, just really, really lovely. And then on the back, we have the outline, which takes out this lovely floral here. And then we have this one here, which cuts out the door. We see that there, the lovely door. So you can take the door out and put something behind. And again, because of the metal, we've popped a large thank you in there too as well, which is um, a flowy font and you get the matting layer as well. Next one. 
just having a look. Yeah, lots of people saying like um, Doctor Who and things like that, hey? I never even thought about that. So here we have Romance and Gathering Thoughts. So we've got the lovely bike. Love, love, love this bike. And you've got the outline for the bike so you can take it out. So maybe you're not into this sort of like distressed background style. Cut it out. Take it out with your die. Take it out. And then we have the lovely uh, romance here. Can we see that there? And again, the tower, you can take it out with your lovely die if you want to. And I'll just turn that over and show you. So we've got Just Ride, which is quite a cool die for the bike. The bike and then the tower as a die too. Then we have Midnight Times. So we have Midnight Times is the lovely lamppost, oldie worldy lamppost. So imagine doing a glow behind here, can't you? Glossy accent in the window and things like that. And these are going to go beautifully on your DL card. So rather than we've done two A6s that way, we've done two sort of like DL cards this way. So you'll be able to pop them on your DL cards, things like that. You get also the lovely outlines to take them out, which is incredible. And then you get Dream Big in the die words there with the what was left. And lastly, time to breathe and good morning. And we have the clock and the bird. The bird has some cogs as well. And again, you could colour that bird up. And I'm going to show you a sample using that in a second. And then in the reverse here, you can see we couldn't quite get the die to go around the clock because it didn't complete the clock. It looked really odd. So what we've done is we've filled the space with some cogs, some butterfly, and then you've got a flower die which cuts out this flower element here on the clock so we've utilized everything we possibly can there for you for you to get um, a beautiful beautiful image so there are the um, five designs something different do we like them let's have a look love the lamppost which one's your favorite you have to let me know which one's your favorite so I'll just set these ones aside for now and I'll just show you some samples. All of them, the tower and the bike. Love the feather, I like the feather. All of them. How do you choose? I'm so sorry, guys. So, sorry. so here are some lovely finished samples then, incorporating those lovely embellishment dies. Can we see here? So we've got this embellishment die in the background and a beautiful flower. How gorgeous is that, being able to 3D that like that? Normally when you get these sort of like collage effect stamps, yes, they're incredible. Yes, they look beautiful on ink and things like that. But to fussy cut them, they're an absolute pain in the bottom, aren't they? So to have the die to elevate that masterpiece that's in the centre of that stamp is incredible, really. So bike, lamppost and feather, Leslie. London ones with the Eiffel Towers. Oh, we've got an eclectic mix. You're all liking different ones. So this is the lovely tower look. So you can see there the 3D, how, how, how lovely. That's just the stamp, stamped twice, the die around one of them. There we go, absolutely gorgeous. And then some more with the detail behind if you want to. So stamp it out, bit of color wash on the back. And here we have the door and the flowers and the doors actually open if you want it to. And then that's a big thank you in one of the sets too. So you can see the beautiful flowers on there. What about the feather? And then we can offset the feather because obviously the dye takes it out. So we can offset the feather. Another lovely feather one there. Absolutely gorgeous. What about incorporating the images together with the bike and the lamppost? So you can pop some of your earlier designs in there you know, use your earlier stamps, you know, don't be afraid to mix them up. They're all been put into um, perspective, so they should all work together too. The lovely stars there at the back, used as a stencil. The beautiful glow in that um, lovely, lovely lamppost there. And then we've got these two here, which Sandra's done. So we've got two sort of like mixed media-y type style. And these are using the lovely flowers. So get out the flowers that you've maybe got from me or another brand, you know, make them the focal point and then just stick the telephone box in. Just absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everybody. So we've got those. So I'm going to move into our first demonstration. 
So what we're going to do today, we're going to do a bit of, um, we're going to use the Thinking of You stamp, which is this one here, when I find it, this one here, which we launched on Monday, because this is a fabulous stamp and I still want to keep using it, because I love it. So we're going to be using this one and we'll use one of our new embellishment dies with the shapes in the background. Um, what we're going to do though is in this studio I am going to give this st brand new stamp away. Uh, this is not mine, <laughs> it's a brand new stamp. I am going to give this away so um, just to say thank you for tuning in in live studio again. So, And I know how much you appreciated the giveaway the other day so I'm going to do it again today. I'll get Nathan to pick a winner by the end of the show. And what I'll do is I'll send this one and one of the handmade cards that I've done in studio along with this brand new stamp. So if you have bought the stamp, maybe you could give it to a friend or um, something like that, okay? So it's a lovely little one. I'll have a spare, have a spare. There's nothing wrong with a spare. So let's get crafty. So I have a piece of like the mount board that Carly was using in the Imala show. And we'll, we will get this on the website, but it's just, it carries like any water and things like that. But you can use a piece of white cardstock, okay? You don't have to, my eyes are watering, I'm sorry, it must be the lights. You don't have to have this mount board, you could use a piece of white card. So all we're going to do first is we're going to create a little bit of a backdrop. Let's just clear my station. Let's bring in the colour. So I'm going to use my palette here. And I'm just going to wet the area. I'm just going to swap that brush because I don't like the length of the hair on that one too difficult to work so let's just pull it into shot for you here so let me just give it a good clean because I've been playing this morning so there's a chance it's still got mucky ink on there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet the card so wet brush Just so it allows me to move my watercolours around a little bit. Now, if you are a mixed media fan and you do like to build collage and things like that, obviously you can do the norm, which is the gesso, the background and the stencils and things like that. But I'm just going to keep it as my style, which is watercolouring and building up a little bit, nothing too heavy. So let's go with a nice green so I'm just going to mix some of this green here and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to create like a watercolour panel in the middle so I'm just going to pop some colour down in fact let's just do a line let's go for it and then I'm just going to pound some of this lovely green into this water now I'm not going to go too heavy and I am going to use a variation of colour so um, green first so let's just see if we can bleed this out a little bit more so we don't get that harsh line so I'm not being over precious I'm just trying to get a panel of colour so there's some green down and then next we will add some blue my brush is too fat for my watercolours can you see so I'm just taking some of the lovely blue and I'm just going to pop a little bit of blue in there too in some spaces Just so we've got a mix of colours, nothing fancy. So like a green and blue line, make sure it's straight. Let's have a look what other colours we've got going on here. Let's pop a bit of navy in there too, just because we can. So the key to this is go for it, really, absolutely go for it. Now you can do this with normal cardstock like I've said, so don't stress. So I'm going to leave that as is. What I am going to do is I'm just going to swap my brush for a smaller brush because I want to put some like splats on there. So I'm just going to take my littler brush and I'm just going to pick up some of the lovely blue that I've got a puddle going on here of and I'm just going to put some splashes. And because the cardstock's wet, I'll probably lose half of those splashes anyway. So I am going to go with the dark as well. And the green. Oh, 
like so. So you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, what on earth is she doing? I don't know what I'm doing myself, actually. Intriguing, already love the colours, Tony. <laughs> so greens and blues today, why not, hey? So let's just try this one off. like a vein of some form. So I'm going in like a line theme today, but you could obviously cover the whole piece of card or canvas, whatever you're working on in whatever colours you want to, you don't have to do a line, I'm just going for a line effect today, but you know, it's a piece of card isn't it, just go for the colour, absolutely go for it. So let's just clean our back off here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jazz this up a little bit as well. So I have my Sintelair glitter glue here, which probably most of you have. And I'm just going to pop some of this in a line, if it allows. And it's not clogged up, it's been ages since I've used it. Just make sure I get it to come right. Excuse the banging. There we go. So I'll give it a good old squeeze and I'm just going to pop some like glitter, glittered lines. So this won't, you won't actually see the colour until it's absolutely dry, unfortunately, but I'm going to go for it anyway. So this, these bottles require quite a squeeze. So I have to really give them a good old squeeze to get that to go down. And let's just try my other one too, because this one's got some um, green tone to it as well. Give it a really good bang. Try now. There we go. It's been a while since I've had these out. But what this effect gives you, it sort of, it dries, you can't really see it until it dries and then the, glit the glitter just sits back. It's really, really pretty. But I've got, st so these colours I've just used are dark colours, but use what you've got in your stash. If you, have, you, have you got these? I've got these too, so we can add some of this as well. I don't know if you can see, does this show a bit better? So I'm just basically doing some lines from the centre down. both ways. That's showing up a little bit better, isn't it, on camera? So I'm just working on that piece where we have just done the watercolour. So now, I've, the reason I've done that is so we can set that aside. So let's just move that and let it do its magic. I know it takes a while to dry, but I'm not over precious about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one here, which is a 3D embellishment set of four, and I'm going to use the triangles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these through and I'm going to run them through in white. But you can see, you see that there? So when you run them through, the bits that are going to pop out, you can paper piece back in, should you wish. Or should you not? It's entirely up to you. So let's just use this piece of spare cardstock. Or should we use this one? Let's just use this one. I'll not waste that one. So just grab my mat. So I need two of these. So already all we've done is we've just popped some colour down the centre of my card in a line. Just put some splats on and then we've added some glitter glue. Okay, that's all we've done so far. And now I'm just cutting this embellishment die. And I'm going to cut two of these.
So when you pop them out, look at that. You see the detailing? Think about your ink blending and your paper piecing and your stencils and things like that. It looks, they are really, really lovely. So I'm just going to cut another one. Does anybody else get like a great feeling when you cut something you're like, oh, that's amazing. Does anybody else get that feeling? <laughs> Oops, just make sure that's not going to, me being tight with the card. So I'll just run this one through too. So this GSM I'm using is just 250, it's the one that I always use. They probably will go through a 300, they're not that intricate, but if you are buying them all, just obviously if they are really, really intricate, maybe pass it through twice, but you should have absolutely no difficulties. They are coated dyes, they're the best in the industry, so you shouldn't have any problems. We've never had any problems with them cutting, I don't think. So there we have another one. So we've got our lovely two designs there. Just set that aside. So what we're going to do now is just grab another piece of cardstock and we're going to use our lovely Thinking of You. So all we're doing here, guys, is we're just getting all of our components ready to make a lovely card if you want to or um, like a masterpiece or a collage or something like that so what I'm going to do today is we're going to stamp this lovely flower head I know a lot of you have bought this stamp I bet you get so excited to get going with it aren't you if you're anything like me you'll be impatient you'll be like when's it coming <laughs> <laughs> so let's just stamp this in black so you can see it clear what it looks like when it's stamped so I'm using the lovely um, VersaFine we'll just go and tap this one in So you can see a lovely cluster there. It's a really, really pretty design, but it's very rugged as well. It's not like you're delicate and you're pretty. It's like, I have arrived. I'm a bit rough around the edges, but I like the rough around the edges. So you also get in the stamp set as well, remember, all of the lovely foliage, which you can build in, tuck in if you want to. And that's the great thing about these, because they have open fretwork design, you can tuck the foliage into the fretwork. It's really, really lovely. And what I'll do is, I did a video of the, one of our earlier designs about two years ago. So to today, when I post the link for this one, I'll also post the link for the older one too. So you can see what I did with the older one. And you'll be able to get a feel of, you know, time hasn't really changed for Stamps By Me. We are still using products we launched two, two, three, could be four years ago. I'm not, in fact, we'll find out, won't we, when we see the date of the video. And I'll, I'll post that after here. But and it's true what I say, guys, you know, um, we do use our, we're not a throwaway brand. We try and use everything in our stash over and over again. So all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly colour a couple of the petals, but I'm going to go with, make sure, this one here. So I've just got a bit of green and a bit of blue on my palette. And all I'm doing is greens and blues because that's what we've done in our lovely background. I'm going to dip it in my tea there, nearly disaster. <laughs> So all I'm doing is just popping some of that lovely watercolour into those leaves. Like so. And this one does not have a die. We've kept this a just a lovely stamp set to keep the cost down for everybody. So if you are wanting to fussy cut it, you can fussy cut it if you like to fussy cut. But if you don't, don't worry about it. So I've just popped that initial layer of colour and then the lovely blue that we've used in our background just to keep it in theme and just to keep it so it's matching. I'm just going to drop some of that lovely blue into that green too. Can we see here so it'll disperse a little bit? I'm just using normal cardstock here, not watercolour card. Can we see there? So we're getting a lovely, lovely shadow. So 
So I'm not being I'm not being too careful, you know. I'm not going to put myself under pressure to make it look absolutely amazing. I quite liked like the loose look of watercolor, but it's personal preference. If you do like, you know, light and shade and fine lines and details, then you can take a little bit longer at home. So there you can see. So non-traditional at all blue and green, really unusual, isn't it? But I wanted to be a little bit different today. So here's when I've done which is very similar look, can we see? And I just fussy cut it the best I could. I am not the best fussy cutter in the world, but I did my best because I really wanted to elevate this design. It took me a while, but I'm happy I did it. So you can see here the two different color waves, but equally, it really doesn't matter what color you pick. If you're not au fait with what colors work with what, you know, don't, don't stress yourself out. It's a card. If you're happy with it, it makes you smile. That's okay, isn't it? Have I missing anything here? Brush dipped in coffee. I think we've all done it, haven't we? Brian there. Cannot throw any of my stamps or dies away. Yeah, when I say throw away brand, I don't mean you throw them away. I, I, I meant like you used it once and then it's gone back in its packet and it's never seen the light of day again. I like you to get them back out, but yeah, I know what you mean, Brian. I couldn't throw any of mine away as well. I have drank my tea when I've had watercolour. I have used my brush in my cup of tea and drank it. It didn't affect me, I don't think. Unless your guys are going to tell me otherwise. <laughs> oh, crikey, what we like. So let's just move that aside. So what I did was I coloured the greens and the blues and um, a little bit of like a vibrant green here. And then I also stamped out the other elements which are in the set as well. And I took a little bit of time to fussy cut these also. I stamped this one in blue because I thought, oh, blues and greens, let's go for it. So this is stamped in blue and then this one I stamped in grey. Is it going to work? I've got no idea. Well, we'll find out though when we come to construct this card. So first of all, let's bring in our masterpiece. Come see that there. So you can see that lovely scintillaire and the lovely stickles on top as well. So I don't think which way we're going to go. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create like a a platform for our design. Can we see here? I'm not going to cover the whole of the artwork though. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to get a sticky pad because I'm going to half of it's going to be hidden. I'm just going to take some of this sticky roll here. And I'm just going to stick this behind here. So first of all, I'm going to stick this one. I'm not going to I'm going to try and keep it quite low because I don't want to um, lose all of that beautiful colour in the background. Can we see that there? I'm going to take that off there because I want it to be in the air. And then this one, so already we've got a pretty design, haven't we? So, um, and then this one, I'm just going to overlay it a little bit, you know, to, or if you want, you can snip away the design so you haven't got a heavy load. So let's snip away some of this design. And that's a great thing about these as well. You can snip into them. So let's snip away some of that design. So we haven't got that heavy load or we could do it this way, look. Can we see how we've changed the design? Let's just stick it on top of here like so, so we've got that like cluster because half of it's gonna be hidden. So let me just stick some glue behind these parts. You can see why I've sort of done the point. And then I'm just going to make sure this point here is the same as this, so it's not uneasy on the eye. I'm not scared to change up the design. Let me just get rid of this glue off my table because you've seen the trailer, haven't you? So I'm just going to, rather than a massive cluster, I'm just going to push that a little bit closer so I haven't got a heavy design, albeit you're not going to see half of it. So I'll just give that a second to grab on there, look. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start to build our design on top. So I have all of my embellishments here. So, And now I've put that flower on, I do want it to come lower. So 
So first of all, let's see how we're going to build our design. So when we come to create, always sort of place before you commit, if that makes any sense at all. So we could tuck this underneath so it's sort of like creeping behind. I'm not going to do it because the glue's wet, but I'm just thinking first off. So let's think about where how we're going to place this flower. I'm just going to sort of lay it on top. I'm not going to touch it though. And then we can... Put this on top and see where it's going. These might be a little bit big. We might have to cut them down a little bit. Yep. So let's cut this one down a little bit, which is a shame because that took me blooming ages to fussy cut. How are we doing? What are people thinking? It's mesmerising to watch it down. <laughs> Crikey. And then this one, should we maybe tuck it under here? Look, so we've got dimension underneath and on top. So it looks like we've got foreground and background. Shall we go with that? Let's go with that. Hey, so I'm happy with that um, design there. So I'm just going to do it with glue because I don't want it too high because we've got that pad underneath, haven't we? So let's pop. And you've all got this stamp coming because most of you have bought it and you see how the design is not too fussy it could be fussier if you wanted it to um, but I'm quite gonna keep it quite plain if I can stick this one in the base here look I'll stick to that glitter glue that'll go so let's pop some embellishments on here shall we let's tw just twist that around make it a little bit softer on the eye so these embellishment dies are just going to act as that pretty platform for you to get the raise it just think about all of the stamps and dies that we've done here at stamps by me and probably many many other brands where you've got flowers and foliage and building elements we've done hundreds and hundreds of designs so they're all going to sit on this lovely lovely platform so let's just just add a little bit more detail on here so I'm just going to grab my block just add a little bit of detail because I'm finding I've got a little bit of white space around the edge that I'm not quite and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the telephone box because it's got some spots on the corner with these lovely spots here so I'm just going to grab the stamp, I'm just going to pop what I need onto this acrylic block, the area that I need, which is the spots part, and I'm going to grab a grey, a greyish ink pad, and I'm just going to ink up the spots, but what I am going to do is I'm going to sort of ink it up, but then I'm going to take it away as well, because I don't want a really like dark black or dark grey detail. So I'll just bring this into shot here. So all I'm going to do is just push. Can we see we get this little bit of light texture? So I'm just going to... Nothing fancy. So it just takes that, that, that um, bland edge. And you see how I've got all of those lovely... Whoop. All of those... So it's just taking that soft edge off. I wish I'd not dropped that now because that's a line. Let me just see if I can soften it a little bit. I'll probably make it worse now, but anyway. There we go. I couldn't, it would have really bothered me that line. <laughs> so that's that. Let's set that aside. So let's just push this along a little bit with a little bit of heat just to dry. just to tie it all together a little bit more is I'm just going to add a little bit of ink in blue around the edge so I'm just using my monochromatic 03 here with my blending brush and I'm just gonna 
pop pop just that little bit of blue I still like the white space as you all know me I like white but just want to just take the harsh line out of the sides like so and let's add some pretty sequins just to tart it up a little bit and because I've used that um, lovely glitter glue I'm just going to use it as a glue as well so let's have a look what colours we've got going on here I've got some nice let's use a couple of these ones and let's use the traditional clear as you know me so I'm just going to use the stickles as a glue as well So don't forget to stick your sequins, not just floating all around, some under your work so you see half the sequin, um, half of it. Sometimes it's nice to see them all, which I'll pop on here. But sometimes, you know, less is more. If you can only see half, it's the suggestion, isn't it? Which is lovely. And then don't forget, you can pop some sequins on your work too. Like so, and then let's just pop a little bit of sparkle on these leaves here. Not much. Just to tie it, you know, bring it in together so, you know, the focus is on the flower in the centre. Just add a little bit of sparkle. If you haven't got these sort of um, glues, um, you have your sparkle pens maybe, my brand, another brand, to add that, just that pow at the end. And I think it's just knowing when to stop, isn't it? So there we go. So I need to add a sentiment to that one. Let's just pop these away. But I have used the... I have got a sample here to show you where I used... Let me just hold this one up. Let's just tidy up, shall we? Where I've used the circle one and I've used it with the lovely telephone box and the bird. So I'll just pop this away. Careful, as she says, for tomorrow. So I'll just hold this one up and show you. So, really, really pretty design. You don't have to do these colours, do what colours you like, but this is this one. This is using the stamp that we used. So I would mount that onto some card and then onto a card. And then here is one with the circles with a blue tone using the telephone box and the bird. So, really, really colourful. Bright and breezy, and that's using the lovely circular one in the backdrop of that one. So great, great for focal points on your cards. Really, really are. And we've we have been asked for these, and as you can see, a lot of the ladies still have the older ones as well, and still use the older ones as well. And I will promi promise I'll post that video of me using the square one from about I think it might be about four years now. Um, so I'll post a picture after show. So don't forget tomorrow I am on Create and Craft at twelve o'clock. It's a double show. Um, I have got a similar demo to one of these using the other shapes, so using the heart and the flowers, so very similar to this, and pinks, which will be really, really pretty. And um, that's it, I have nothing else to tell you about. I will be back with you on Friday at 3 o'clock, because I'm not on TV, and then on Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning, you have a live studio with the lovely Carly Duff, who's going to be doing Aymala. So lots to look forward to. So whatever you're doing, have a lovely afternoon and I'll see you all tomorrow on TV at 12 o'clock. Take care guys, see you later, bye.